the great Togo, T-O-G-O. He has his manservant and interpreter here with him. He's getting a scoop from blind Anthony Hachek, the referee. And uh, this is a best two out of three fall fair with a 60-minute time limit. Anything can happen, and it probably will, because Mr. Togo is a lad who can always fall back on the old cry that he misunderstood the instructions. These are Texas rules, or catch as catch can. No holds barred with the exception of gouging, hitting with a doubled up fist, or choking. Outside of that, most anything goes, including using the ring post if you can get them loose. So, that's the way this little affair will start. Mr. Togo chooses to bow. So happy, so pleased. Meet Honorable Malco. And this kid gets down off his wooden skates and we'll start. No, oh, wait a minute, we gotta get him unlimbered here. That's right. Now he's running gears ready, and we're off and running. This is the first time that Malco has met Togo. So we shall see what happens when East meets West. Onto the ropes, it'll have to be broken up. Mr. Togo, you're not doing a thing for international relations, boy. Don't start that way. I expect you'd better bow to Mr. Malco. He's the guy that rates it. Wrist lock outside and single. Doubled now. Uh-uh, mustn't play footsie. It's not in the book, Mr. Togo. Mm. So Sally, kick honorable gentleman, so Sally. Okay, kid, get your sake bottle, let's go. It's a knee lock on Malco. Count of one. You notice that Togo's also using a chin press here. Or he was. There he's back at it again. Malco's Adam's apple happens to get in the way. That's his hard luck. Malco's trying to break out of this thing, and he just may. Let's see if he can tough it out. Togo's hissing like a broken tea kettle here. Yep, he got him loose. And came up with an outside wrist lock. Count of one on Togo. I'm sitting way back up with the real wrestling fans tonight. I'm clear up at the top end of the joint. I got tired of getting kicked in the face at ringside, so I'm going to come up here and see how the real fans live. Well, there's a head scissors on Malco momentarily. Figure forward now, or shortened, to where Malco's chin just nestles right in Mr. Togo's knee. It's not the most enjoyable place. Malco flailing. Maybe he'll make it, maybe he won't. He did. No, nope, not for long. Togo latched onto him with a chin lock, and there goes one of these Japanese sleep holes, right? These things are applied on the juggler vein. And on the great huge tendons at the back of your neck. Try it sometime. You'll not need sleeping pills for a few nights, I can tell you that. You better get the show on the road, boy, or it's going to be history here. Let's see if he can bridge out. Now he changed his mind about that even. Well, maybe he's going to try to... Yep. If he can get Togo stood up here, he may be able to handle him. That's not good. Right across the bridge of the nose. Of course, Mr. Togo tries to keep his knees from getting callous, so he parks them on Malco's throat. Windpipe's right under. There's also a wrist lock on Malco. Malco's 
Bob's going to be all tattered and torn if he keeps up this flailing here. He can't last forever at that. Here's a wrist lock inside. It was momentarily and then into a hammer lock. Sort of a half-hearted one, but uh-oh. You could hear that one clear at the back of the hall. Another one. Those are supposedly broad arm legs. Fine line about where your fist starts and your arm begins. Plus the fact that Mr. Togo once in a while uses one of those sharp edge of the hand judo licks. Bang him on the cauliflower, Zach. Let him have it. That a boy. Clip him. There. So Sally, love everybody. So Sally, yeah. On your father's old kimono. Oh, now we're going to make like a pair of bulls. Headlock. Notice how Togo puts this thing on. He wears his knuckles right into Malco's eyes. Gets a little confusing after a while, particularly if you're not wearing welding goggles or a baseball mask. Zach, if I could offer a suggestion, everybody up here wants you to stomp his pinkies. Why don't you go ahead? Give him a good old Chicago hot foot. Zach's trying to find him there, I do believe. There must be something telepathic about this. Uh-oh, hey, 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 Buster. Fuzz face, uh-uh, cut it out. is always a real good deal. It makes you feel like you'd stuck your head in a fan. See these judo leaks, how they're delivered? Another one. Anybody can take them. Malco can. He's tougher than a boarding house steak. Some for Mr. Togo. Reciprocity, they call it. Look over, way over. That's it. Want to look again? Oh, no. Well, this kid is... This Togo, you've got to give him credit for for never quitting. Just about the time you think he ought to be clobbered, why, he comes to life. It's a knee lock that he has on Malco, plus this peculiar way of resting his forearm against Malco's juggler again. Count of two. This best two out of three fall, 60 minute time limit. Another count of two. Our boy Anthony is right on the ball tonight. No, 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 Buster. Here goes more of that nerve business. Guy Togo may not be spectacular as a wrestler, but he's busy every minute. Looks like he's cut his hand here. Either that or he's got blood all over it from Malco. See what happened. He's probably got Zach's cauliflower split open. This is a chin lock after a fashion. And Mr. Togo isn't choking. <laughs> I say the movement isn't spectacular here, but there's action going on in the clinches all the while. time here to tell you if you'd like a copy of Fred Kohler's wrestling news we'll be glad to send it to you just drop me a card or letter Russ Davis and care of the station here we'll see the free copy sent out to you it's published every week there's a lot of news in it about wrestlers all over the world still Malco still Mr. Togo 
Still the same old hold. Well, maybe Malco's going to make some money here. We got a hold alike now. It's a question of who vacates first. Well, Malco did. Malco's ear that's bleeding. It's the one that Togo's been slapping on there. He's got it started. It's a cauliflower ear. And naturally, Togo's made the most out of it. Needless to say, our Mr. Malco is not a pretty sight at the moment. can come out. He's starting a wrist lock here. Yep. Into a hammer lock. Down to one, two. Mr. Togo. Uh-uh. Mustn't, mustn't, boy. That's it, Zach. Get him loose from it. No, 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 says Ajax. He's on the ropes. Right back again. Boy, this kid doesn't ever learn, does he, huh? Woo! Right across the Adam's apple. That's the one that fractures your windpipe. And Togo was trying to set up a reverse flip there and didn't make it. Malco didn't bounce as far as he thought he won. Two, three clear up to the disqualification count. This is a rugged match. It doesn't, as I say, look too rough, but it is. And there goes Malco right down where we generally are. Everybody's up on their feet. Let's see what happens. He's got a count of 20 to get back in the ring when he's thrown out. 10 if he goes out of his own volition. Oh, well. Get out yourself, Mr. Togo. This Malco is tough. Don't think he isn't. Well, let's see what will happen. Mr. Togo is much the fresher of the two at this stage of the game, despite the fact they both had a trip outside the ring. Togo's got this ear started, and he's going to work on it. Notice he just keeps trying to irritate it and split it. A cauliflower ear is caused by breaking down the separation of the cartilage just from, from the skin in the ears, and the liquid that gets in there generally solidifies. Then it becomes painful. Here's a sleep hold. You'd better give up to him, Zach. You won't be with us the rest of the evening, boy. No, he says no. There's one little bohemian you're not going to stop. Not this laddie buck. Zach was a police officer in Chicago for years. Was an instructor in judo tactics in the Coast Guard during the war. Covered himself with a good deal of glory in the CBs later on. And so he's just not used to giving up. I think Mr. Togo's beginning to get a little used to that now, too. This is that wraparound or python again here. Everybody's begging for Malco to slug him, and he did. Now let's see what's going to happen, huh? Few judo links. We'll take this and this and this, says Malco. Oh, Mr. Togo, you're going to work yourself into a spot here, chum. That's what I meant. The general idea is that Mr. Malco doesn't want him in the ring with him. And I think he succeeded in getting it over.
Melko's ear is just a scarlet mess. On to the ropes, Togo. You can't understand, can you? Melko, if he's taken one, has taken 15 of those those windpipe licks. Zach just seems to come out of this momentarily. Here's more of this sleep hold again. Melko can never get awake for three minutes here in a row. He'll make Mr. Togo go look for some more sand to heave to his ancestors. There's a takedown. There's an arm scissor short. This may be the one that Zach can get some rest with. It isn't too hard to hold to keep on once you've accomplished it. Unless Togo hits a nerve somewhere and makes him break it. And he'll go to looking. Even in this position, Zach's still the boss here, as long as he can keep that arm caught in this short scissors. To get out of this one's like trying to figure your income tax. It's a little tough. Can be done. Count of two on Togo. That's two of them in a row. Open the door, Togo. Hmm? So Zach may be getting a little bit of refreshment here. Or is it? Count of two on him. Togo's taking him off balance and may work his way out here. Let's see what happens. Is he is or is he ain't, huh? Zach's still hanging to it. Uh, he's lost it now. Togo caught him in a gather. Malco's trying to counter with a wrist lock here. Togo with a chin press. Plus a little bit of choking. That I guess is legal within limits, I'm not sure. Same routine again. Togo working on that ear, Malco, while he's got this leg gathered. Put his little old head up there and bang it with your knees, Zach. He must be choking the way the other end of Zach's moving. blind Anthony. He always goes to the wrong side of the barn after the horse is gone. He's my friend, mother, and I'll pick on him if I want to. That all, boy. Put it on him. Cinch it down real tight. Pull up the zipper and leave. gentleman pinch too hard Togo like John Paul Jones he has only begun or not yet begun which way does it go look at that little son of a gun put his knees right in the middle of Malco's face oh that's what we've been asking for that's the boy he's got the kid on the table now keep him going Mr. Togo must have the counterpart of a glass jaw, maybe a glass skull. He was flopping just like a chicken with his head twisted off there for a minute. Malco conked him on top of the head. Hmm. 
this point, Togo has furrows on his head and his scalp. They're fully an inch deep and an inch wide. I, I've never seen anything like it. Yep, he comes up with a hammerlock on Malco. Get your fingers out of his mouth, Buster. It's unsanitary. Well, there goes Togo after that ear again. got this hammerlock again. He had it as a hammerlock with a four there for a minute and went around behind. Now he's using it into this wrap around or python. This is just where you get a man all wrapped up in himself. Now Zach Beldy, Matta boy. Chinlock posted. time you think old Zach had done run out of gas, but not him. Who knew? Well, well. Here's a pair. A pair of hammer locks. Straighten up his spine a little. Bridge up. And Togo made his way out from under the ropes. He knows where they are. Your goodness, boy, you're a sucker for that detail. Now that's twice times in a row, three times tonight. And he's measuring him up here. There's that judo lick across the throat, right across the windpipe. Watch how Togo does it. Oh, he's going to try and put a flip on him. Oh, no, this is real good. This just puts his sacroiliac on a land of lease. And here goes the sleep hold. Malco's got to do something pretty quick here. He's out. He's out like Flaherty's mother-in-law. Break it up. Oh, there's Togo, the winner of the first fall, at any rate, with his sleep hold of his. We've got another two falls to go here. rubbed down by his little manservant with the chin whiskers. Meantime, Brother Malco is uh, trying to get this thing unraveled and figured out here. We have two more falls to go. Well, Brother Togo has won the first fall from Zach Malco. We'll get on with the affair in a few minutes here now. Just hold on a minute.
Rick has called the thing off. He would not let Malco come out. So that gives Togo his first meeting with Zach Malco by virtue of a default. His first bout from Zach Malco. This boy Togo has worked his way through some of the better wrestlers in and around International Amphitheater here. This makes three now that he's added to his belt. So there you have it. The great Togo winning over Zach Malco. The first fall with a sleep hold. And of course, the second by default or disqualification because the referee would not permit Paycheck to come out and meet Togo in the shape that he was in. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from ringside at International Amphitheater. Hope you enjoyed our little party. This is another match promoted by Fred Kohler. We'll be seeing you. Take good care. Bye.